is Marion. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing our sinking funds and our emergency funds. So let's start off with our sinking funds. We have 120 bucks here according to my little sticky note. And we have mixed in here some fives and some tens. So this should get a little interesting. We need to start with our home maintenance. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, that got a five and a ten. Nice. Motorcycle events. Number four. One, two, three, four. And that just seems really loud right now. I don't know why I'm in such a quiet mode right now. Motorcycle maintenance. Wow. Look at this. Number four. One, two, three, four. But that made it too quiet. Whoops. One. Okay. One for road girls. One. Two. <laughs> I hear ya. One for RV maintenance. Number four. One, two, three, four for sinking or for my sink. You've got the number one. One for my stove. You've got the number. One, two, three, four, five for truck maintenance, which is good because I have to do my brakes. Let's make some noise. Five. One, two, three, four, five for vet emergencies. Wow, look at this. Number four. Wow, you're only getting two vehicle registration. Sorry to break the news. All right, so we are going to move our marker over to Amazon Prime membership so that we know to start there next time. So let's see, in home maintenance today, we got ourselves 10, 15, 17, 19, 21. Nice. Motorcycle events got five, seven, nine, eleven. Motorcycle maintenance got five, seven, nine. Ooh, 19. Gotta get me a new tires. Well, girls got two books. RV maintenance got five dollars. My new sink that I really desperately want to buy got five, seven, nine, eleven. The new stove is getting two dollars. Truck maintenance, which holy cow, if you have not gotten your brakes done, oh wow, 15, 17, 19, 21. For my truck, I have a 2015 F-150. It is $400 an axle, so 800 bucks basic um, to get my brakes done. And um, I'm not looking forward to that. Five, seven, nine. Ooh. Oh, look at that. We got 10, 15, 17, 19, 21 dollars for vet emergencies. And for vehicle registration, we got seven. And that is all she wrote for our sinking funds. Let's get our emergency binder. Okay, we have $100 available to put into our emergency funds at this moment. So let's see what we are going to be filling today. All right, we got the 17. Somebody had asked why I was using the prop fills and I had mentioned before whether creepers walking around the neighborhood things like that um, Charlene Turner over at cash and budget cash and coffee budgets she had mentioned that her neighbor had just been robbed and I remember back in Vegas when I lived there I had gotten robbed by um, four kids ages 12 to 16 and they, when the cops called, because we had to find them, me and the other guy that had gotten robbed, 
we had to find them because they said that there wasn't enough evidence for them to bring in the CSI team. Even though um, the kids had broken my window and left fingerprints. All right, it's 27. So we had found the kids just by super sleuthing through the neighborhood. And they had told me that they were looking for guns. That's what they put in their police report. And I tell you, we went to court and the parents were appalling. Um, they sat there, one of the dads, I don't know which kid was his, but one of the dads sat there eyeballing me, just staring me down, trying to intimidate me. So I looked over and I smiled and went back to doing what I was looking at something in my notebook. Cause I think this is before, this may have been before cell phones, but, um, I went back to looking at whatever I was doing. So I look up again and he's still eyeballing me. So I crossed my legs, kind of angled my body a little bit and stared right back at him. Well, then the other parents, this woman was sitting there laughing with her kids and pointing at me. And it's like, this is what you're teaching your kids that just broke into my house? That you're teaching them that it's okay, basically. And then the, the other kid's parent didn't even bother showing up. She was at work. So she sent her felon, other older son, to go and sit for him as the adult. Um, the felon son had just gotten out of prison for accessory to commit murder. I mean, I just tell you, but we were in court and the judge, um, it was started off with the boy, the, I think he was 15 and he had, he paid for his attorney. It was not a court appointed attorney and the attorney. It was my turn. He, you know, made it, played it off like some kid's prank or something. And then when it was my turn the um, to speak as the victim, the judge looked at me, and I was in full dress blues. I was active duty at the time. And then he looked at the parents like, oh, you in trouble. <laughs> so then I had stood up, and I said, you know, I gave my little spiel about what they had stolen, how I had worked very hard for what I had earned, that I um, had some some stuff going on, and this was the last thing I needed. So far, I've got $961 in my emergency funds, but um, and then I said, what I would really like is if the attorney could take a look at that police report, because that young man had said in his police report that he had targeted my house and the other gentleman's house because he was looking for guns so that they could give it to another 16 year old who lived in the apartment complex. His attorney says, well, no, no, that's, you know, we're not concerned about that right now. And I said, excuse me, you were hired by his family. You weren't court appointed, you were hired. And you don't think we should be concerned about that right now and you don't have a copy of it? I said, that's part of your job is to have all of the the materials there handy for you. And so the, I look over at the judge because I'm realizing I'm crossing the line by speaking to the attorney this way. The judge looks at me with a big smile, crosses his arm, and leans back in his chair. So then I said, this is something that we all need to be concerned about. You have a 15-year-old boy sitting next to you whose brother just got out of prison. And this kid admitted that he broke into my house looking for guns. And he broke into the other gentleman's house looking for guns. We all need to be concerned about this. So I looked at the judge and I said, Your Honor, I, my, apologize, or my apologies. And he said, No, 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 please. I might have you back. And so he yelled at the attorney as well. And he said, Well, I tell you what. You don't have a copy of the police report. How about we take a little bit of a recess and I'll recall this case when you have a copy of that police report because I'd like to take a look at it. So then they bring up the 15-year-old girl. The boy was 16. No, the boy was 15. The girl was 16. They bring the 16-year-old girl up. The mom is now giving me dirty looks. The judge just annihilates the mom. Starts yelling about um, how dare you give her dirty looks when it was your little child 
it, that's that was the aggressor. It was your child who broke into her house, stole her items. How about I give this woman the keys to your house? She can go in, break a couple of windows, and then start stealing some of your stuff that you worked hard for. Because I'm sure being a single mom, you would like to keep your stuff, wouldn't you? And the mom starts crying, and she's nodding her head. And then he looks at the girl, and he says, Now look what you did. You made your mother cry. <laughs> so then... um it was my turn to talk again, and he said, oh, he said, you again? They, they were, she was involved in this? And I said, yes, sir, there was a total of four of them. I said, um, she had actually used her little brother to, they pushed him through the broken window to, to get into my apartment. They broke my window, pushed him through, and then he went around to the front and unlocked the door. And he's like, oh, my so then they all start crying again. And he says, I think it's a little too late for you to start crying, don't you? And so then he says, um, we're going to take a break. And I'm going to learn a little bit more about this 16-year-old that you're trying to find guns for. And, you know, granted, there was he couldn't really do that. But then the, the other one happened with the dad that was eyeballing me. And um, so, yeah. Basically, what wound up happening was all of the kids and all of the parents had to write me a letter of apology. Um, I had even brought, they used their this, one of the family's sheets to bring my stuff back to my house that they had stolen. I even, because I had cats, I washed her stuff and then I put, as soon as it came out of the dryer, I put, I folded it, put it in a Ziploc bag just in case any of them were allergic to cats. And then I took it to the manager's office and gave it to her. That way I didn't have any more dealings with the family, but found out that all of those families had been um, evicted from the apartments. So yeah, got letters of apologies, never did get those letters, um, but they were also put on, um, what, what, what do you call it, restrictions. They had, they had to be in their home at 10, no, it was during the school year, they had to be in their home by 8 o'clock at night. And then during the summer, they had to be in their homes by 10 o'clock at night. Unless they had approval from the um, courts. They weren't allowed to miss a single day of school. Unless they had um, a note from a doctor or an attorney. Something, something official saying that's why they weren't in school. So, don't know whatever happened to those kids. Hopefully, you know, they got another chance and straighten themselves out because I do believe in second chances. But that is another reason why I went to prop money because I'm working too hard at saving this money to pay off my debt and I don't want some punk coming in and stealing it regardless of their age. You know, I had naked man running around the neighborhood. If you haven't heard that story, it's in one of my videos. <laughs> if you could tell that again. But... That is my story hour. That is all the money that I have to play with for today. Um, wishing you all wonderful blessings with all of your goals. Take care, have fun, and be well. Bye-bye. <laughs>